Hi, I'm Dara Fischetti, creator of Supergirl Fitness and the You Happy Ever After Empowerment Program. And in this video, I want to give you my best tips for how to stick to your nutrition plan and lose some weight and just create the body and the level of health you want in your life. Okay, here we go. Number one, and this is all mostly around food. So number one, meal prep. Now, I cannot drive this in hard enough. It is so important for you to have healthy meals easily prepared, I mean easily to grab when you are hungry. When you're hungry and your blood sugar goes down, you will sometimes grab for the wrong things. But if the food is there and it is prepared, then you have a more a higher chance that you're going to eat the right things. So meal prep, that means schedule time to go shopping and schedule time to prepare your food. I like to do it on Sunday and I chop some vegetables, put them in um, baggies so that I have them there. And then I, I like to make sure, um, I actually go to sometimes this store called My Fit Foods and they have already prepared foods. I'll buy some of those and I have them right in the fit, fridge so when I'm hungry, oh, I'm gonna eat salmon and vegetables. Really simple. So meal prep is number one. Number two is create an ethos for achievement. And what I mean by that is your, your surroundings have to support your goal. So don't buy junk because when you are home in your house alone or, or you're watching TV late at night or whatever it is, if you start to get a little bit hungry and you get the munchies and even though you decided that you're going to eat healthier and lose weight, if it's there, it's sometimes calling to you and the craving is just too strong. But if it's not in the house and you have to get in your car to drive to go get it, you probably are going to not do that. So don't buy things and keep them in the house that you know are gonna cause you to derail. And then don't put yourself in situations where you know you may, it's not gonna support your goal. So going to happy hours where they have a lot of greasy, yucky food, that's, that's a, that's a problem when you're trying to lose weight. And I'm not saying you have to be antisocial, but just know that you're gonna have a glass or two of wine and then your blood sugar starts to drop and your inhibitions about your diet go out the window. So going to happy hours is a tough thing. Unless you order the food, you only drink your wine when, you, when it comes to you and it's one glass of wine and you're really careful about not ordering more or overeating. So don't buy food that is gonna, not going to support you. No candy and junk in the house. And don't put yourself in situations where you're going to be eating and drinking a lot of junk. Okay, so then my number three is find people to surround you that you can surround yourself with that have achieved what you want to achieve. So if you have healthier friends if you are around people that are healthier or they work out like it's going to rub off on you and it's really important to understand and my mom said this you're only as good as the company you keep so if you want to have a, a better level of health and you want to up level when it comes to you, your, your feeling how good you are in your body create a social network of people around you that are healthy, that eat well, that work out, get a workout partner. Find people that you can surround yourself with that bring you, um, bring you up, that bring you closer to your goal because you're like, wow, you will. You'll behave like the people around you. So nice new circle of friends. Maybe not new, maybe some, maybe some old friends too, but just be careful who you surround yourself with because you want that to be um, people that help you become the best you can be when it comes to this. Okay, and then my last one is mindful eating. And I've started doing this more because I realized I was sometimes standing over the sink like just cramming something in my mouth because I'm so busy, I have lots of stuff to do. But if you can take time to sit down, look at your food, appreciate your food, and not have anything else going on, not looking at Facebook, <laughs> or not, um, not looking at something on the computer, or answering phone calls, if you can sit down and eat your food while you're just paying attention to your food, you will feel more satisfied. Your brain will register that you have eaten, and you will probably eat less 
and you and you'll feel fuller. You'll notice when your body starts to get full. You um, and you'll you'll just enjoy your food more and all the nuances and tastes. Okay, so those are some of my best tips on how to stick to your diet, how to keep the nutrition plan that you've set for yourself in the forefront of your mind and how to create the body that you want. Thank you for watching this. If you'd like to uh, strategize with me and jump on a call, click on the link below and schedule a time that you can do a one-on-one -on -one strategy call with me. And we can break through some of the things that are holding you back from achieving your goals. Thank you again for watching. If you like this video, please like or share.